Auto Line Daily is brought to you by Borg Warner. Feel good about driving. Bridgestone, your journey, our passion. Dow Automotive Systems, improving durability and increasing design flexibility with Betamate structural adhesives at DowBetamate.com. And by Hyundai, new thinking, new possibilities. Welcome to AutoLine Daily. I'm Drew Winter from Ward's Auto World, filling in for John with a special announcement coming up. But first, let's get to the news. BMW announced it's going to beef up its carbon fiber production. The German automaker and its joint venture partner SGL Group will invest $200 million to expand their plant in Moses Lake, Washington by early next year. Once the expansion is complete, the site will be the largest carbon fiber plant in the world with the capacity to produce 9,000 tons of the lightweight material a year. Currently, carbon fiber produced in Washington is only used in the i3 and i8, but BMW plans to use in other models in the future. And in other BMW news, the company just introduced a solar carport concept for its electric i3 and plug-in i8. The structure is made of bamboo and carbon fiber. Along with BMW's home charging station, the carport can show how much solar energy or grid power is used to charge a car. And if the solar panels generate excess energy, it can be used to power the home. The company says it will have more details about the carport at the media launch of the i8 later this month. And in other EV news, Tesla announced that it's going to stop supplying batteries to Toyota for its RAV4 EV by the end of the year. In its quarterly earnings report, Tesla revealed that Toyota is expected to phase out the RAV4 EV model this year. However, Bloomberg reports that Toyota hasn't announced plans to scrap the RAV4 EV program and hasn't ruled out working with Tesla in the future. The compact SUV segment is one of the hottest in the U.S. So in order to keep up with demand, the Detroit News reports that Hyundai plans to double the amount of Tucsons it ships to the American market from 45,000 to 90,000 units. The company has deliberately restrained production in order to not sacrifice quality or sales. Domino's Pizza crowdsourced the design of a future delivery vehicle. Infinity reached out to budding engineers to join its Performance Academy. And now Volkswagen is looking for students to help it design an exciting car for a video game. The automaker is looking for students from the design field to submit concepts that will retain the character of a Volkswagen. Three concepts will be chosen by Volkswagen's head of design, along with his management team. Those winners will get a six-month internship in the Volkswagen Design Department in Wolfsburg, Germany. The contest started on May 5th, but it runs to the 15th of August. Just click the link in today's show notes to get all the details. Coming up next, what it's like being behind the wheel of a dragster race car. Proven on the track and on roads around the world, Borg Warner turbochargers improve fuel economy and reduce emissions without sacrificing performance. Borg Warner, official turbocharger supplier to the IZOD IndyCar Series. On last week's Auto Line After Hours, John and Gary were joined by the Gutierrez Brothers racing team who compete in the NHRA Top Alcohol Drag Racing Series. In the following clip, driver J.P. Gutierrez explains what it's like inside the cockpit of a dragster race car. This car here, being that it is is blown alcohol, we leave at around 6,000 RPM is where we drop the clutch, okay? So it will work like a regular everyday vehicle where you might have a, a, a manual transmission, just call it Corvette. Okay, and you put the clutch pedal in and you rev the, rev the motor up and you sidestep the clutch. Okay, and then you take off. That's kind of how it works. Okay, same thing, same principle. I, I rev the motor up to a certain RPM and then when the tree comes down, the swapping of feet is very important. So if you, st- uh, you know, put your foot on the throttle more so before you let the clutch out, you will leave at a different RPM. And starting line RPM is very important for these cars to get you know, down the track with the tune-up you have and the setup you have in it, that's, that's something that's very important. How many gears do you go through? Three. This is a three-speed transmission. So, and those are, those, are, those are switched by two air buttons. 
And it's kind of a sequential box, you're just pulling back on a stick? No, it's actually just push an air button and it's a planetary transmission. Mm -hmm. So once we leave the starting line and we take off, you don't do anything with the clutch pedal. And it works, you just push a button for second gear and push a button for third gear. So, I mean, you're going so fast, I mean, how do you know when you're pushing these buttons or you're just like <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's most of the time how I'm doing it. But the way you're supposed to do it is there's a shift light on the, on the dashboard that comes on at a certain RPM that we have set, and then you're supposed to hit the button at that point. So, but watching the, the tack swing or something like that, is, it would be very difficult in the car going this fast. It's got to be an uh, awful lot of vibration. Too. There is. So to try to watch for a tack is going to be very yes, to be, uncertain. Right. To be As opposed precise. to a light, then you just go. Right. All right, then, seriously, can you see anything? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it, when, you're, when you're in the car after you've driven for a while, your the speed isn't as, as fast as it seems outside of the car. It's like slow motion in the car. Wow, it's hard to believe they were able to squeeze that dragster in the studio. AutoLine was kind enough to give me a couple of seconds here to plug our sixth annual Interiors Conference coming up next Wednesday, May 21st here in the Detroit area. And if auto interiors are important to you and you want to know the latest developments in design and vehicle trends and what's coming in the future with electronics, innovative materials, and autonomous cars, then this is where you'll want to be. It's a day-long event filled with experts talking about materials, the evolution of the human-machine interface, the future of luxury, and much more. Plus, we've got terrific keynote speakers this year. General Motors Head of Global Design, Ed Welburn, and Chrysler's Chief of Interior Design, Klaus Busa. All that plus an opportunity to personally check out our Best Interiors Award winners, including the spectacular Rolls-Royce Wraith, which will be on site. So if you'd like to join us, please go to autointeriors.com for any and all information. Again, that's Wednesday, May 21st for the 6th Annual Wards Auto Interiors Conference. And that wraps up today's AutoLine Daily. I'm Drew Winner, editor of Wards Auto World magazine. Have a great day.